and welcome down here to the wild whales this is part three of the only roots challenge and thank you all for the support on both parts you guys all mean the world to me well anyways i have some news because in part two i asked you guys whether it's okay if i use fat beats or not and it seemed pretty half and half so i have an idea just like how i use rent plant i'll only use fat beats if the level seems impossible without it and also we reached the view goal Part one is now my most viewed video, and I'm a man of my word, so. Day one introduces us to this world's gimmick, minecarts. Minecarts let you place a plant on a cart and drag it up and down the column. Just like the first stage of almost any world, it was pretty easy. Day 2 introduces us to Prospector Zombies, and usually you'd have Split Pea, but we can't use Split Pea, so I got a little bit creative. You see, I thought that Sweet Potato could drag the Prospector into the lane with the Spike Weed, but instead, for some reason it has this weird interaction where it'll drag the Prospector inside the Sweet Potato, and the Spike Weeds won't hit it. Nonetheless, this stage was pretty easy. Day 3 we get introduced to the Piano Zombie, which Spike Weed can counter, but, but he has to sacrifice his life! If you weren't silent through that, you are number one off for Root Gang. With a couple Valiant sacrifices, we're able to beat the level. Day 4 introduces this world's weird gimmick levels. We're just gonna skip these since I can't choose my plants. Day 5 is the introduction to the Poncho Zombie, who can either have an Iron Grate or nothing underneath his poncho. Even if he does have an Iron Grate, he can still be one-shot by Potato Mine, but if you let him slip by with an Iron Grate to one of your sweet potatoes, he can be a real problem because of his tankiness. Day 6 is a plan your defense level, and it's pretty boring. So how about this? For the boring levels, I'll tell you guys an incredibly horrible root pun. So here's the first one. What is a root's favorite topic in math? Square root. <laughs> Day 7 was really easy. This sweet potato spike rock combo is really good. When we win, we got a letter from someone from YouTube. Tarnished battler, Wild West will kill you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we'll see about that tarnished battler, whose IP is 16.27. Gargantua level, skip. Locked and loaded, you know what that means, another joke. How would a potato mine support his favorite sports team? By rooting for them? <laughs> Day 10 introduces the chicken zombie, and I thought that I could just drag them into the lane with sweet potato, and then I could just use spike rock to get rid of them, but for some reason the chickens sometimes clip into the sweet potato, and that causes a lot of problems. This is a really big problem because we either have to use plant food on our spike rock or just let our sweet potato die. We're still able to pull through though. On day 11, we can only use 500 sun for some reason, but two sweet potatoes and two spike weeds are perfectly enough sun and we're able to beat the level. Another boring level. Hey, what is potato mine's favorite thing in language arts? Root words? Oh, yo, oh, yo. Day 13 is the introduction to bulls, and their ability to throw imps over our sweet potato is a massive problem, because we don't have any spike weeds in the back to take care of the imps, so usually it just means a loss of a lawnmower. But anyways, yeah, the level's still not that bad. Day 14 really shows us how much of a pain the chickens clipping to our defenses can be. Uh-oh. Day 15, we can't lose more than two plants, which means we can't use our early game goat, the potato mine. Could it be? Was Tarnish Battler right? No, 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 can't be, can't be. In fact, Tarnished Battler was horribly mistaken because all I have to do is just let the first couple zombies die to the lawnmower so I can rack up enough sun to do a sweet potato and spike rock combo, and then it was smooth sailing. We unlocked the walnut first aid, which somehow applies to sweet potato. I'm not complaining. On day 16, we gotta protect this walnut at all costs. You see, usually this wouldn't matter because I have unlocked the walnut first aid, but I can't use walnut. So if he gets hurt, there's no replenishing his health. Day 17 is a don't trample the flowers level. And this really weird thing happened and you can hear the confusion in my voice. Uh oh, ah oh, man, potato mine's not even off cooldown. God, ah, f what? Yo, what? Yo, I've never seen that happen. Whether that was a glitch, divine intervention, or tarnished battler changing his mind or something, we still were able to beat the level. 
Day 18 was actually kind of interesting because it has a mixture of chicken zombies and prospector zombies. So I had to have potato mines in the back for the prospectors. And I put spike weeds in the front and next to the sweet potatoes. Spike weeds in the front to activate the chicken zombies. And then spike weeds next to the sweet potatoes to kill the chickens. Day 19, we can't use the potato mines again. And we can't spend more than 2,000 sun, which is not really a problem. Another weird level. How does a root party? They turn up. Day 21 is don't trample the flowers, and it's really interesting because I don't know whether Prospector counts, but I didn't want to take any risks, so I just put potato mines in the back. What do you call a root that's kind of cool? Rad-ish. <laughs> that's a good one, Sonny! Day 23 was awful. Day 23 is the reason we can't have nice things here. Day 23 is the reason the Titanic sunk. Day 23 caused both world wars and probably will start a new one. <sighs> Day 23 is the closest thing we have to hell on earth. Day 23, we can't let the zombies trample the flowers and we can only use two potato mines. Like what? This level is especially difficult because we have those chicken zombies, a lot of them. So if the chickens clip into our sweet potatoes, we have to use plant food on our spike rock to kill it. And in this clip, it didn't even work. There are also two piano zombies in this level. So we have to sacrifice two innocent spike weed lives who didn't deserve to die. Could Tarnish Badler be right? No, no, I will not use fat beads. I don't care if it takes me blood, sweat and tears. Oh wait, Spike Rock's plant food can just one-shot the piano zombie. Yeah! Day 24, we gotta protect three endangered walnuts. And we can't heal any of them because we can't even use walnut. So we have to take their life very, very seriously. I, I, I didn't do a good job at that. But it's fine, because I had spare plant food, so I just used it at the end. And just like that, we beat Wild West. So take that, Tarnished Battler! In all seriousness, though, Thank you all for the support on both parts. You guys all mean the world to me. This whole series has been really fun to do, and all those nice comments that you guys leave really motivates me. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the Frostbite Caves, where we unlock some very powerful roots to put in our arsenal.